Look at the sky. Well, Bob's favorite. I-94, 933. Let's go over to the NMI with some breaking news. Our CNMI correspondent for KUAM News, Tomas Manglotnia. Good morning, Tomas. Good morning, Bri and Chris. We're hearing news this morning of the passing of former NMI Governor Forlan Camacho Tenorio. We're hearing he passed away early this morning in Texas. And a statement from the CNMI Governor's Office is forthcoming according to the Press Secretary Kevin Bautista. The Press Secretary here in the NMI, Kevin Bautista, tells us that flags will be going down to half staff today in honor of the Governor, of the late Governor Forlan Camacho Tenorio. Okay, Tomas, uh, thank you for that breaking news. And now uh, with the very latest COVID-19, the CNMI again, Tomas, thank you. Here's the latest on containing COVID in the Northern Marianas. We wanted to play a clip released by the governor's office on the procedure for inbound passengers in the CNMI as more flights touch down on Saipan. Take a listen. I'm Dr. Beth Conan. From I'm Dr. Beth Conan from CHCC. I'm the Deputy Chief Medical Officer. We're here at the screening at PIC for the incoming travelers. United is now traveling, um, bringing in people to the CNMI three times a week. Today we had 38 passengers arrive. The process is that CODA picks them up at the airport, brings them to PIC. We have a team here to receive them. It starts, they pick up their luggage here, they go through customs, they meet with the uh, quarantine people for fruits, vegetables, invasive species, and then they're screened with a medical screen. If they're doing well, then they get sent to their to a room here at PIC. There's two choices for them then. They can either stay 14 days in quarantine or they can have the same test as we're doing for the community-based testing uh, and wait for those results. If those results come back negative, they can leave quarantine early. We are an anticipating that most people will be able to leave within five days. So that means that instead of saying 14 days, they only have to stay five. People who have come from someplace and they have a a certificate that they've had a negative test within the last 72 hours are released as well. Everyone who either comes through and or is released and or completes quarantine is still asked to do the social distancing at home, continue to do hand washing, follow the curfew rules, and be careful about it, it, touching their face. We also have an update from the CHCC CEO, Esther Moon, as she says that so far as of Sunday night, 1,022 test results came back as negative from the community-based testing initiative. Again, that's a, as of Sunday night, 1,022 negative results from the CNMI's community-based testing initiative. Munya says that as of yesterday, 22 people remain at the Pacific Islands Club facility in quarantine and zero people as of yesterday at the Kanoa Resort Isolation Facility. The CNMI Governor's Office says that they're also providing hard copies of the results from community-based testing upon request. He adds that they're looking to the option of providing email results, results though due to HIPAA requirements, they need to be encrypted in the emails. They say that it would require individuals who may not be technologically literate to do things on their email that they're not familiar with. We also asked, we also asked the hospital CEO, Esther Munya, about comments on any outreach efforts to expand the testing and encourage people to get tested. Munya tells KUAM early this morning that at this time, they have a steady amount of people coming in for the lab to process, and they also have their dialysis patients tested. She adds that they'll be doing outreach in the coming weeks, including outreach to the Monaco and other high-risk populations. KUAM also asked the CEO, Esther Munya, about any plans for testing on the islands of Rhoda and Tinian. She tells us that Rhoda and Tinian residents can expect community-based testing to start next week. We asked if they're planning to test any people at home or other options than for those who cannot make it through drive-through te testing. She says that for collection of specimens, it's not off the table. They're receiving calls from family members calling for those who are challenged going to the airport for the drive-through testing. Also in other news, the CNMI Labor announces phone numbers for the pandemic unemployment assistance. According to Secretary of Labor Vicky, Vicky Beneventi, the CNMI PUA implementation plan is in review by the U.S. Department of Labor, Employment and Training Administration. Vicky Beneventi says that this week, the CNMI Department of Labor is in training sessions 
for phase one of the plan, which is the initial claims process. They encourage anyone with general questions regard, regarding PUA and the FPUC program to call the phone numbers they provided yesterday as uh, between the hours of 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday to Friday, the first of those numbers, 670-989-9090, 670-989-9089. And you can find the rest of that information on governor.gov.mp. The Secretary of Labor here in the CNMI also says that if you cannot get through the line to please try again or email info at puamarianas.com. They, they say that uh, residents should not send personal or sensitive information over email. Again, if you cannot get through that phone line for the NMI with regards to the PUA program and the SPUC, you can email info at puamarianas.com if you're in the NMI. Breen, Chris, we also wanted to give the latest numbers as of May 5th from the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation. The number of confirmed cases in the NMI as of May 5th remain at 14 with a pair of deaths and 12 recoveries. And the cumulative number of persons tested through community testing initiative as of May 5th is 1,480. Bring Chris. Thank you, Tomas. Uh, just want to go back to what you said. Uh, so let me get this straight. In the CNMI, if you are in a government quarantine facility, you can ask to be tested. And if you test negative, they let you out early. My understanding is that that process is available for those incoming travelers. And right now, as I, uh, and so that process that Beth, uh, Dr. Beth Conan outlined is that you can either stay for the 14 days or you can get tested, as you said, and be released if that test result comes back as negative. Interesting, because I know you heard that call we had with a gentleman yesterday who was at Pacific Star saying, hey, test me now. If I'm negative, let me go. If I'm positive, whatever. So they're doing it in the CNMI. Yes, and I think a lot of residents I've spoken with are obviously grateful for that <laughs> opportunity to opt into testing as 14 days in any facility can be especially grueling for a resident to undergo. Okay, thanks, Tomas. Right, what else are you working on uh, for today, Tomas? Well, of course, we want to get the latest information uh, of the early news we're hearing of the passing of the former CNMI governor, Tenorio. Uh, we heard that, of course, again, he was in, in Texas and that uh, the press secretary, Kevin Bautista, here in the NMI tells us that flags will be going down to half staff in honor of, of the late Governor uh, Tenorio. And so we want to get more information on that. And uh, uh, with regards to COVID-19 news, uh, we're also working to get more comment from the Saipan Chamber of Commerce on their opinion as flights open up to the Northern Mariana Islands and whether or not uh, they have uh, comments or plans for businesses to reopen as well as that happens. Okay. Uh, pre anything in closing, uh, Tomas? Uh, that, that's it. Uh, again, we're waiting to hear more results from the community-based testing. It looks like, based on the numbers this morning, we're waiting to hear back uh, for about 400 other results. Uh, as we know, so far, 1,022 results from the community-based testing initiative here in the NMI came back as negative. And so we're going to continue to monitor those numbers and get everyone the latest information with regards to containing COVID here in the NMI. All right. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Wash your hands. Always 942, uh, Guam's favorite. About uh, Are they going into session at 10 a.m., Bree? 